Good morning and welcome back, my friends. And for anybody new, hello. My name is Meg. I am lactose intolerant. I am gluten intolerant and I eat on a personalized phase three low FODMAP diet for digestive reasons. This morning, I am craving like a super hearty and savory breakfast and I found one recipe that I have most of the ingredients for including these turkey breakfast sausages that I bought a while ago, and I'm excited to find a recipe to use them. So let's jump in to making breakfast. For breakfast is a summer vegetable and potato sausage skillet with a fried egg. I started off by roughly chopping up a couple russet potatoes, a green bell pepper, a zucchini, and a bit of onion. Obviously low FODMAP friends, you can skip out on the onion. Then I took my sausage links and I chopped them into thirds. Into my oiled cast iron, I added the potatoes plus a good helping of salt and pepper. I gave that a quick mix to get everything coated and heated it up until it started to simmer. Then I put the lid of my cast iron on, occasionally shaking it so that the potatoes wouldn't stick and burn to the bottom. Once they were done, I removed the potatoes and added the sausage into the cast iron. Cooked that until it was just about done. Then I also removed that from the pan. Next, I added in the bell pepper and the onion. I also added salt and pepper to these, plus a little bit of one of my favorite herbs, rosemary. Gave that a good mix to get everything coated in the oil that was left on the bottom of the pan from the sausage. And then I let it cook for a few minutes and added my zucchini to the pan. I also decided that a fried egg would not only be beautiful on this dish, but tasty. So I got one of those cooking while I finished putting together the dish. I added the potatoes back to the pan as well as the cooked sausage and my pan was rather full, but I still managed to get everything mixed together. And now it is time to serve myself up a good helping of the sausage, potatoes, and vegetables. I topped it with a little bit of chopped up tomato, my egg, and a little bit of green onion. The breakfast bowl is complete. I will say that this recipe did take quite a while to make. Though it is a one pan recipe, each of the individual ingredients was cooked separately. So it did take a while to make, but it did make a lot of food. So if it's good, it might be worth it. You could even like double, triple it if it's good and have loads of food. So let's get down to it. Is it worth it? I'm going to try to get as much as I can in one bite it's gonna be a huge bite, I can, I can already tell. This is a ginormous bite, holy smokes. I even dipped it in a little bit of the egg yolk to get the cherry on top, but yeah, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to eat this bite, holy smokes. <laughs> so I kind of have to agree with the majority of the comment section. It just needs more color on the vegetables and the potatoes. I tried by putting it in my cast iron to get more and it did, it did get some color, but honestly it would be better with more. And thinking about it, if I would have thrown it under a broiler for a few minutes, it might have gotten a nice little char to it that would have been really nice. So I might try that next time, but the flavors are very good. I am still going to enjoy this and maybe when I heat up the leftovers for myself for tomorrow, I will throw it under the broiler and give that a try. But with that, I will go eat my breakfast. I will see you guys back for lunch. It is now lunchtime, my friends, and after such a big, satisfying, and hearty breakfast, I am interested in having something a little bit lighter for lunch and I found a shrimp salad recipe that I think hits the mark and it should come together rather quickly which is very nice after spending so much time cooking breakfast. So let's get into making the salad. Lunch was a fresh and delicious lime shrimp and avocado salad. 
Now the recipe starts off with red onions. Obviously low FODMAP friends, just skip on this or use green onions instead. To them, I add a little bit of olive oil and some fresh squeezed lime juice with a small pinch of salt and a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Now I mixed all of that up and then I set it aside to marinate while I finish the rest of the ingredients. I chopped up some pre-cooked shrimp into small pieces added those to my bowl. I also chopped up some low FODMAP quantities of avocado, tomato, cilantro, and some green bell pepper. The original recipe asked for jalapeno, but I didn't have it, so I used the green bell pepper instead. Then I added the tomato, the bell pepper, and the avocado to the shrimp, and then topped it with the onion and lime mixture. Gave it a quick mix to make sure everything was coated in the lime and olive oil sauce. I served it up in this pretty little glass dish topped with some fresh cilantro. Now I could eat it just like this, but I decided to serve it with a side of gluten-free crackers. My little shrimp and avocado salad is done. It's rather similar to a ceviche, but can't get like the freshest fish where I live but I love the brightness of the meal. So this is a really good option to kind of replace that for me. With it, I'm going to be having some of these Wasa gluten-free crackers. I was given these, uh, or these were given to me by someone who was not a huge fan of them and I don't mind them. And I actually think they'll be really, really good with this. And I've already like set myself up a nice bite here. It's got all of the goodness in it and I am ready to give this a try. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is so good. I'm, I have all the ingredients to make this a lot. And I have a feeling I'm probably going to be eating this for lunch like every day this week. This is so good. This is like a perfect meal for me. I love this. So I'm gonna go eat my lunch and I will see you guys back for dinner time. It is just about six o'clock, which means it's time for me to start thinking about what is for dinner. And in my last grocery trip, I bought chicken wings and I haven't bought chicken wings in a really long time. And we're all kind of excited. So we're having chicken wings tonight for dinner. And I found a couple of different recipes that I'm kind of going to smash together. Uh, we want to make the wings out on the smoker, but I found a soy pepper glaze, like coating that you can put over the top of them. So we're going to make it out on the smoker and then we're going to bring it in and we are going to cover it in this glaze. I've already got the smoker outside warming up and a couple of pounds of chicken wings thawed out. So all I need to do is get the coating on the chicken and then we can get it out on the grill. Dinner is soy black pepper glazed barbecue chicken wings with a side salad. I began by patting my chicken wings dry with a paper towel, added some cornstarch for the coating, as well as a good helping of salt because this is a lot of meat that needs to be seasoned. Gave everything a quick toss to get it coated in the salt and cornstarch mixture. Then I put the chicken out on my preheated grill. And when they were at the halfway mark for cooking, I went out and flipped them. Now for the glaze. The base of the glaze is sake and mirin, which I have neither. So I made a little bit of chicken broth out of some water and bouillon. I added some minced ginger to it and I used maple syrup as the sweetener in the recipe. Then I added a whole bunch of gluten-free soy sauce. I also added plenty of fresh cracked pepper to get a flavor profile that I liked and I thought was balanced, but adjust the spice to your tolerance. The original recipe calls for cooking this sauce, but well, I didn't feel like doing that. So I added a bit of cornstarch to it. Then I warmed it up in the microwave for about a minute, minute and a half until I got a slightly thicker sauce that looks like runny gravy like this. When the wings were done, I topped them with about a quarter of a cup of the soy pepper sauce and gave everything a proper mix to make sure that every wing was completely coated in the sauce. For the simple side salad, I took a little bit of lettuce and some leftover chopped vegetables from earlier in the day, including tomato, onion, bell pepper, and some cilantro. With a little bit of these plantain nuggets, if you've never seen them before, they look like this. 
Uh, I've had them for a while. They're not too bad. Added those to the salad, plus some leftover vinaigrette that I had in my fridge. Gave everything a quick toss to coat. Simple side salad done. I served myself up a few of these glazed wings. A little bit of the salad onto the side. And finished it off with a little bit of green onion. The wings are now complete. I'm a little sad that the sauce didn't end up thicker. Um... But when I tasted it, when I was, you know, testing for seasoning, it tasted really good. So I think the flavor might make up for that. Just a simple salad on the side. Let's go ahead and just dive into these wings. I'm very, very eager to give them a try. There is the bite. I'm going right there. That sauce, that sauce is really, really good on there. A little bit of a heat from the pepper, a good amount of salt from the soy sauce. It's a nice balance. I like it. But I'm going to go eat this, which means that will be it for me for today. I hope that you guys found some inspiration in the meals that I made today. I will link the recipes that I used or that inspired me down in the description box if you're interested in trying them yourselves. As always, please double check the ingredients in each of the recipes to make sure they will work for you because what works for me might not work for you. I hope you guys consider giving the video a like and subscribing to see more content like this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.